Hello friends, hope you guys having a great day. I'm back with a new tutorial on cantilever beam problem in ANSYS workbench. Hope you guys like my previous videos on ANSYS basics and how to create a material in ANSYS workbench. So let's get started. Now today we are solving a square cross section cantilever beam problem whose dimensions are as follows. The length of the beam is given as 4 meter, width of the beam is 0.35 meter and height is 0.35 making the cross section a square. The Young's modulus for this beam problem is 2.7 e raised to power 10 pascals. Now by using ANSYS workbench we need to calculate three things. Number one, we need to calculate the total deformation of the beam. Number two, we need to calculate the maximum bending stress generated along the beam. Number 3. We need to calculate the bending moment along the beam. Now by the definition of the cantilever beam, a cantilever beam is a beam which is fixed at one end and there is a point load on the another end. In our case, we have a point load of 6 kN at the right hand side. So let's get into the ANSYS workbench. Now go to static structural module and double click on it to drag and drop into the project schematic window. Now double click on the static structural and rename it as cantilever beam problem. Now the step one is to give the engineering data to the ANSYS workbench. So double click on engineering data and create a new material and give this material the name steel. Now in order to create the properties of this steel, double click on the isotropic elasticity and these properties will come down here. Now give the Young's modulus value 2.7 e to the power 10 pascals. You can give the Poisson's ratio 0.3 but I'm giving this value 0 here. It will not affect your model or results. Make sure your units is in metric. My units is in meter or metric. So keep that in mind. Now since I have given the engineering data to my problem. Now close this engineering data window. And now our engineering data section is over. Now to provide the geometry to ANSYS workbench, double click on it to start the design modeler. Now this will take some time to pop up the ANSYS design modeler. So this is the ANSYS design modeler in which we have to create our cantilever beam. Now select XY plane and make sure to perpendicular it to the screen and now go to sketching, select a line create a line of 4 meter in order to dimension the line go to dimension and click on the line and give this value 4 meter I'm creating the midline of the beam and after that we need to convert it to sketch now go to concept select lines from sketches and click on this line and apply and click on generate now since we have created one part or we can say one body now we have to provide the cross section to this one part so go to concept and go to cross section and select rectangular so this will create a rectangular cross section but in our problem it is specified that the cross section is square so give this value 0.35 and 0.35 as the height of the beam. Now click generate. Now go to one part one body and select line body in order to create the cross section attached to this body. Now click generate and go to file and close design modeler. Now since our engineering data and geometry portion is over, we need to enter into the model. So double click it and it will open the ANSYS mechanical. Now this will take some time to attach our beam geometry to ANSYS mechanical. So this will create the center line of the beam. Now in order to show the beam, 
go to view and select cross section solid so this is our square cross section of the beam now before getting along since our material is steel by default the material lens is workbench is structural steel so go to geometry and select line body to change the material assignment and select steel now go to mesh and click update to get the default mesh now if you drop down this menu and click on the statics window you see there are 43 nodes and 21 elements in this beam now the next step is to apply the supports now select static structural go to supports select fix support and make sure to highlight this vertex filter and select the left side vertex to apply the fix support to it again select static structural to apply load that is the point load on the right hand side vertex select force make sure to highlight the selection filter that is vertex and select vertex and apply now this vector can be changed to components and in the y component give value minus 6000 newton and hit ok now go to solution and select deformation total again select solution go to tools and select beam tool we need to evaluate this total deformation first and solve now this will take some time to create the mathematical model provide the boundary condition to it and then solve completely so you see our model is solved now you can see that the total deformation here is 3.8 millimeter now if we go to our problem and see our analytical results that is the deflection for the point load see that the deflection is 3.79 millimeter so our ANSYS result is pretty close to it and one thing here is to notice that our finite element method does not provide us the accurate results it basically gives us the approximate results of the problem now open this beam tool and select the beam tool again and go to stress and select maximum bending stress right click on maximum bending stress and evaluate results so you see our maximum bending stress is 3.35 megapascals now if we see our analytical results of the bending stress along beam so it comes out to be 3.6 3.36 megapascals which is very close to our ANSYS results now we need to have bending moment along the beam for that select model go to construction geometry select path in path type instead of having two points select edge go to edge selection filter and select the center line of the beam go to geometry and apply now go to solution go to beam results select bending moment now in scoping method instead of using geometry selection select path in path select your chosen path and in the definition choose directional bending moment in the orientation select z axis and now right click on directional bending moment and evaluate results now since my units is in millimeter go to units and select metric so you see the bending moment is minus 24000 since the bending moment is force multiplied by the perpendicular distance our force is 6 kilonewton and the length of the beam is 4 meter so that gives us 
the bending moment of 24000 in z direction so this is the cantilever beam problem solved in ansys workbench hope you guys like this video give this video a big thumbs up and i'll see you guys next time with a new tutorial till then peace out